Fresh from the showcase here at Swiss Watch Expo, we're doing another episode on Vacheron Constantin. The reason that we're doing this so often is because we get so many great pieces and Vacheron only makes about 25,000 pieces out of its entire collection worldwide every single year. The funny thing about 2020 is it's probably far less than that. Imagine only about 10 or 15,000 pieces being made for the entire world. Billions of people that are looking for a watch. And the fun thing about the Vacheron is, is it's such a detailed piece of art. It isn't just your average watch. It's got a lot of hectic detail in it that if you really pay close attention, you see a lot of history. Two of the overseas that we have here are the most extraordinarily difficult pieces to get literally in the world. So if you can imagine there's 25,000 pieces entire over their entire collection, there may be only 100 pieces or 250 pieces of each one of these worldwide each year. So you can start to see just how difficult they are to obtain. The fun thing about this is we've gotten the blue GMT, which is actually called the Travel Time. This particular watch is the newest iteration and the design of the Vacheron Overseas GMT Travel Time. What they changed from the old piece to the new piece is quite significant. Number one, this watch has the manufacturer caliber movement in it. Previous generations had various other manufacturers, uh, uh, Piaget, uh, Gégère Lecoultre, uh, several other uh, various manufacturers throughout the years, uh, throughout the history. Uh, they're a more complicated piece. So when they went to the manufacturer caliber, if they were hard to get before, when they had mass makers of them, they're definitely hard to get now. Now, one of the things about this particular watch is the way that the case design is, the way that it flows. There's more of a, if, when you're wearing it on your wrist, there's more of a concave appearance to it. So when you lay it on your wrist, it looks more flat. Even though it's a, about 13 millimeters tall, about 12.8 to be exact, this watch doesn't look tall on your wrist. In fact, actually, it looks like an ultra thin watch and it lays like that. It isn't until you turn to the side that you realize that it's quite significant. It's not any taller than your average Submariner and really even your 41 millimeter Datejust, for example. Everybody asks why these watches are so expensive. Everybody wants to know why these things bring the value that they do in the marketplace. Well, this GMT, for example, the travel time, is a $25,000 watch, but that's not really the whole story. The reason that this watch is so expensive is because literally every single detail about this watch is handmade and hand perfected. No machines touch this watch whatsoever. The dial on this watch is hand painted. Every single thing on the dial, including the scripting, is hand painted. They use these very fine hair-like brushes to do each and every one of the uh, documentation pieces on the dial, from the numbers to the indices to the hash marks, everything about it. So sometimes, the Vacheron goes through maybe five, six, eight, ten dials, depending on, of course, what they're making. So you can imagine from a company that makes only 25,000 pieces a year to, to purchase a watch like this with this sort of exquisite detail is pretty unique. Let's think about for just a second the fact that a Rolex GMT you can buy for $17,000 in the marketplace, pre-owned. With this watch, you're buying it for $23,000 pre-owned. You get all the box, the booklets, all the documentation that comes with it. And you're getting something that is so much more rare in the marketplace than the original Rolex, for example. This watch is still water resistant. You can still swim with it. When you turn it over, you can see the ultimate detail of the inside of the movement. The gold rotor, the weighted rotor on the inside, is fully decorated. Every single component on the inside of this movement is fully decorated by hand. It's just a gorgeous piece. But the fun thing about this watch is just looking at the dial. The symmetry of the dial is important. It doesn't have a bunch of funny things laid out so that it's hard to read. The lacquer finish on the dial, the enamel is just, it looks like candy. It's got this deep, deep gloss. It's got a sun ray effect in some places. In other places around the outside edge, it's got a brilliance that is different than the inner ring. So there's just a lot of visual details and cues about this watch that tell you you're 
in possession of something that's truly special. Now, one of the other things about this watch is it has a quick disconnect bracelet where you can change each one of the, the, uh, the bracelets that comes with this particular piece. And I actually find it a little bit, I have terrible fingernails, but it was really quick and easy once you get a hold of it properly. It won't come undone. Some of the older ones, it, they don't have the, the positive lock like this one does. But when you snap it back into its place, it's very positive. You know that you've done it correctly. So you just simply lay it down. It's like a little puzzle piece. You lay it down and snap it into place and it's done. Other pieces you have to kind of fumble and fiddle with. You get a rubber strap with these. You can get the, uh, the uh, crocodile strap with these. And then of course you get the bracelet. All three of them come in the package. Now, some of the leather straps get worn out over time. So when you purchase a Vacheron like this, a lot of times the leather of the alligator doesn't come with it because it's probably worn out and you probably wouldn't want it anyway. Or maybe it's scratched or frayed on the edges. So don't be surprised by that. You can still get them from Vacheron. It's, it's completely worth uh, your time. But you do get the actual buckles that go with them. So you're in good shape there. I'm gonna move on to the chronograph because this chronograph is, if you thought the GMT was special, this chronograph is something else. So these were introduced, the GMT and this were introduced in 2016. The GMT was only available in the silver color. They moved to the blue color and now they're, they've introduced in 2019, the black dial. So each year they introduce a new color that doesn't make it any easier to find in any of the colors. This particular chronograph has sort of a, a funny looking sub dial. It looks black in certain lights. It looks navy blue in certain lights. And in fact, even from my angle right here, it looks blue with a grayish tinge to it. It has a lot of personality. These are extraordinarily hard to find too because most people wanted these in silver. So when you find the blue, it's ultra rare. And when these very first came out, people clamored. I mean, I worked at a Vacheron AD previous to now and they would call five, eight, 10 times a day. Can we get it? Can we get it? Can we get it? So if you thought that finding a Rolex was hard, this watch is the ultimate. You save a good amount of money buying it pre-owned. You do get something that resembles a discount, something you would never get from a Vacheron when you buy this watch new. You still get all the box, the cars, the paperwork, and everything that you need. You get all of the straps, the bracelet, and everything for the watch. It's a great purchase. It's great for the value. And when you're looking for something that's way different than AP or Rolex or Cartier or any of these other uh, manufacturers where you think, wow, everybody and their brother has one of these. Vacheron is completely different. And in fact, actually, I would say Vacheron is probably even, in my opinion, in, especially in the stainless steel, if you're thinking about getting a Patek Philippe, a Nautilus, and paying seventy dollars or $80,000 for it <laughs> when you have to find it on the secondary market, forego that. You'll be a lot happier with the Vacheron. Give us a call here at Swiss Watch Expo. We'll be happy to help you out with these. We'll tell you all about the Vacheron. But once you get this watch on your wrist, I think you'll find that you'll love the style and design probably more than other uh, watches in the marketplace.